Hello, welcome to News Update. Tanzania's President Tamia Sulu Hassan has said she has, in some circumstances, handled the country's top office better than other male presidents before her. The Tanzanian president said she faced challenges of mistrust during her first days in office because she is a woman. To mark Africa Freedom Day, Zambia is making moves to abolish the death penalty. President Hakainde has announced he termed it a big decision by the government. The murder of 19 children and two teachers at a South Texas elementary school by an 18-year-old has prompted a call to action from U.S. President Joe Biden, who urged Americans to confront the country's gun lobby and pressure Congress to tighten gun laws. The teenager is suspected of shooting his grandmother before the rampage. After 39 days of searching, the bodies of four miners were discovered in a gold mine in Burkina Faso. The bodies were found in cavities near a rescue chamber that was opened last week. The Senegalese Football Federation has decided not to schedule warm-up friendlies for the 2022 World Cup-bound African champions in June to allow players to benefit from a suitable rest period. 75 people have been reported missing and one person declared dead after a boat carrying around 100 people sank near the southeastern city of Sifax in Tunisia. The overcrowded boat set sail from the Libyan shores of Zuwara. North Korea fired three ballistic missiles early on Wednesday morning, South Korea's ministry has said. It comes just a day after U.S. President Joe Biden left the region, following a trip that saw him vowing to reinforce measures to deter North Korea. Some all progressives Congress, Governorship and State Houses of Assembly aspirants in Ogun, Rivers, Sokoto, Lagos and Ocean State have called for the adoption of direct primary to elect the party's candidate in the 2023 elections, alleging that governors and some ministers who hijacked the election of delegates who would vote at Thursday's Governorship and House of Assembly's primaries. The families of passengers kidnapped from the bombed Abuja Kaduna train took to the streets of Kaduna on Wednesday to call on the federal government to safely rescue their loved ones from the kidnappers then. The head of corporate communications of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Osita Nwa C.O.B., has debunked rumors of a purported sack of the governor of Central Bank, Gordon Emefiele. The CBN governor is in Davos on official assignments. And that's the news update. You can get more from TOS TV Network. Isn't the details currently showing on your screen?